All right, I'm back. I have some pickups, some vintage cards, some pretty awesome stuff here on the cheap. Um, there was a mail day for a PC card and some stuff I found at a local auction house too. All right, so one place you should look for cards maybe is comic book stores. Sometimes they don't show up if you're looking for local uh, sports card shops, but a lot of comic book stores have cards. And some of them are, you know, the prices are pretty good. So check it out. So anyway, this comic book store that I know in town, I just happened to notice they had a anniversary sale and they had 50% off sports cards. And I had been there previously, so I knew some of the cards that I had saw in the display. Um, so yeah, I went down before they opened and I wanted to be the first one in line. So anyway, here's what I found. I think this, this, just for context, this entire lot was $160 taxes in. Okay, so we got a Cole Perfetti Young Gun, a Cole Sillinger Young Gun. I actually got two of these, but I already sold one of them. I got an autograph, a dual jersey of Jesse Winker. This is from 2015 Diamond Kings. Uh, Victor Olofsson. Platinum rookie rookie insert auto, uh, Victor Arvidsson contours rookie card, um, Shane Bowers allure red auto, this dry sidle, uh, fourteen fifteen overtime uh, rookie card, and this uh, this is a Team Canada twenty sixteen Maxime Comtois. Jersey, it's only uh, numbered to 12. And also from that same place, I got this uh, Comtois uh, Team Canada patch auto. I mean, that this one was, I know this one was twelve fifty, and this one was like $10. So you can't, you can't go wrong. So some, some vintage cards now that I found at the same place, I didn't get a ton, but I got this funny Al Arbor, um, 1969-70 LPG card. Uh, Mario Lemieux tops 88-89. I got this Gretzky. This is the card I thought of when I when I knew they had a sale. I'm like, oh, this is in the display case. So this was a $15 card. Pretty happy with that. And then this nice, really sharp Paul Coffey uh, rookie card. Half price, can't go wrong. I mean, I could have bought, honestly, I could have walked in there and said, give me the whole display. Football, baseball, basketball. It would have been worth my while, but I didn't bother. So, there was a local auction and I got this, uh, just one lonely card. It's this uh, 81, 82 Super Action. It's a PSA 5, but the price was right, so I scooped it up. And then uh, PC Mail Day. This is my first basketball card. Um, I just wanted a Shaq rookie card. PSA nine. It really this this is my favorite looking Shaq rookie card from what I've from the research I've done in the affordable range anyway. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Then today I went out to another comic store after I picked up that Gretzky from the auction there was a, a comic store locally and somebody had told me they had singles so I went through their hockey card box vintage hockey cards and um it was like 25 cents a card 40 cents a card depending on the year so here's what I found I'll just uh Split this in half and kind of go through. I think I got 50 cards here for 20 bucks on uh, average price, it's like 40 cents a card. So 1970 71, I got a couple goalie cards. I know some friends that collect these, so I thought I'd pick them up. 
Just a couple of Al Smith rookie cards and this Ernie Wakely. Pretty funny. Uh, both of these are rookie cards, actually. So Then I got these... Um, some of these 78, 79 LPG cards, and there's some tops here too, but I got uh, a bunch of goalies and some like Cleveland Barons cards. You don't see these very often. Pretty cool uh, logo there. And there's one with the old California Seals. Uh, somebody had mentioned to me and reminded me recently, um, if you look at old pictures of California Seals, they wore white skates for a while. It's kind of hilarious if you if you see the the whole uniform with the white skates. So yeah, just some of these Cleveland cards. These are all pretty good shape. Uh, I tried to find no creases and stuff like that. And then a bunch more goalie cards from the same year. These are tops and OPG. Kind of see the tops are a little more glossy. Pretty cool, like the older pads and masks especially. People really like those. Gary Suitcase Smith. It's funny how a lot of these pictures, like almost all these guys either look like they're posing for like a studio or they're like in the warm-up. Or they're like the backup goalie that day. All right, a few more. This cool uh, goalie card from 78-79 with the OPG cut. There's a Doug Grant. Oh, and I got some bossies. Let's see here. These were all in like the 25 cent bin, so I couldn't pass these up. These are all sharp too. Uh, some nice Mike Bossy retro cards in the background too. Yep, so a few 81, 82 uh, PG bossies here. This one was my favorite one out of those. Tim Kerr rookie card. This guy has a record. You'd be surprised. I think it still stands today. Um, I think it's 34 power play goals in a season. And this, this is a really sharp card, actually. I'm surprised it was in the 25 cent bin. Um, there's a Peter Stastny rookie. Super action. Yeah, look up Tim Kerr's stats, though. Um, I'll go back to Stasny for a sec. But Tim Kerr, he had 50-some-odd goals, I think, four seasons in a row, like high 50s. He was a beast. He just had a lot of injuries, that guy. Was killer on the power play in the early 80s. Um, another guy, I think Peter Stasny was top three scoring in the 80s maybe top two maybe second behind Gretzky in total points in the 80s another kind of underrated player there's another bossy from 85 86 there's 83 84 record breaker this is uh six 50 goals season he went on to do this uh, nine in a row. A Dale Howard Chuck, um, rookie in action. And then there was a Gila Fleur in there for 50 cents. So I grabbed that. Why not? So you can get cards. All, like everything I've shown today is like very affordable. And you can, you know, you can flip a few of these to pay for everything. You don't have to spend. A million dollars on cards to get some good stuff. Uh, some 7980 cards. I got a few goalies. These were fairly sharp. I mean, of course, they're a little off center. And that's the blue, the blue edges. But look at that. Look at that. Uh, Wayne Stevenson masks. How awesome, how awesome is that, eh? There's another cool mask. Wayne Thomas. A few more. A few more goalies. There's a a Mark Howe. This is his first NHL card. So kind of a rookie card. Um, 
This guy was really awesome. So it says left wing. He played a lot of his career as most of his career as a defenseman in the NHL. Um, he was he was a Hall of Famer in his own right. Pretty great player. There's Rogie Vachon in the Detroit uniform with those crazy pads. Another uh, goalie. Couple more uh, capital goalies. Well, now with Nordiques. I got a couple of that guy. And then the last card, nothing special, was just a, a Rockies team card, unmarked. So that's about it. Like I said, this whole stack, this entire stack was $20. And then the whole stack of uh, cards from the comic store was 160 bucks. I'm, I can keep a couple of these old cards and sell a bunch of these newer cards and kind of pay for my day and then some. So yeah, that's how I roll. All right, stay tuned.